The way I think about it is that there's really two kinds of insomnia. Um, I, I As we were talking about earlier, I kind of wanted to start this episode talking about sleep problems. Um, you know, you've got a lot of patients that come into your, your clinic with yeah. sleep problems, insomnia being probably yeah. one of the most prevalent ones. Yeah. Um, when someone comes into your clinic and says, I have insomnia, what sort of data points or clinical features do you kind of look at to, dis to dis distinguish whether or not this person actually has insomnia versus all the other things that could just be causing poor sleep? Right. That's a great question. The way I think about it is that there's really two kinds of insomnia. Uh, I call it sort of insomnia with a lowercase i and insomnia with a capital I. Think of it, it's kind of like depression too, where it's a word. It's a word that we use to mean a lot of different things, but in a clinical context, it means something specific. So a lot of people will say, I have trouble sleeping um, and I have insomnia, but is this an insomnia disorder? Is that how we would call it? We'd call it an insomnia disorder. And the way to tell the difference is how they're presenting. So an insomnia disorder is defined as a persistent difficulty initiating or maintaining sleep or waking up too early. So it can happen anywhere in the night. The difficulty has to be there. Um, it has to occur at least three nights per week. It has to have gone on for at least three months to be considered uh, a chronic insomnia. It has to cause some sort of daytime functioning problem. Could be almost anything, but it's got to cause problems. You have to give yourself adequate opportunity to sleep. So just sleep depriving yourself isn't insomnia. Um, and when you think about what that means in terms of difficulty falling asleep, there's no hard and fast rule, but a good rule of thumb we use is about 30 minutes. So if it's taking you at least 30 minutes to fall asleep or you're, or you're awake for at least 30 minutes during the night trying to sleep and you can't, that's a good sign that maybe what you have is an insomnia disorder where a lot of people will have occasional sleep difficulties sometimes, but, but that's really the difference where it's crosses the line to where it's really interfering with your function.